Welcome to Nashville. I have to search where to get a Bloody Mary because I offered to create an itinerary, but someone said that they didn't want an itinerary and now someone wants an itinerary. Can we all guess who that someone is? Hey. <laughs> anyway, um, how, what did you think of last night? I had fun. What did we do? We went to- St. Vito Focaccia. St. Vito Focaccia. Ready, cowboy? Let's ride. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good, but like my only, my only con, it smells like meat from like the second you walk in there. But that's because of the place next door. What was the place next door? The oh, the, the pork place? Yeah. Okay, so then I can't put them at fault for that, but it, it smelled like What's the word? Like like ripe meat that had been sitting out on like a hot summer day. That's kind of what it smelled like. It didn't smell that bad. I thought it smelled pretty bad, but I have a better nose than you though too. Well, that's fair. My nose is, is sensitive. I'm like a, what is that, a bloodhound? Is that the dog that sniffs? Yeah. Is that the lady in the tramp? Anyway, and then we came back and we went to the rooftop bar, which was super cute. Mike like stalked these two women. That sounds until, terrible. Okay, that sounds that's terrible. That's not what happened. Okay, no, Mike kept his eye on, that sounds terrible too. <laughs> um, Mike really wanted to sit by the fireplace and these two women were, my microphone has not been on this entire time. Are we good now? Okay, we're good now. But Mike wanted to sit by the fireplace last night and these two women were sitting by it. And then they left and then we sat down and it was really nice, it's super cute. Yeah, I just Staying at the Noel, Noel Hotel. Oh, that kind of is hard to say. And I think the bird, the bird. I think the theme is birds, which I love birds. This is my outfit. I feel like a spring day with my very white legs. Do we think I should wear my hat? I know it's my Napa hat. That's why I'm just like I'm not sure if I should wear her because I feel like I'm kind of cheating. Oh, but like, oh, I don't know. No, I feel like it looks better without. I feel like this is like, I'm trying too much, you know? You're not even looking, how would you even know? All right. A five hour walk to where? Did you find a Bloody Mary? Is that what you're looking for? Oh, okay, I'll look for the Bloody Marys. That'll be my job. Tomato, oh yeah. Jersey tomato. It's a Nashville tomato. What a day. Yeah, what Thank a job you. navigating. Yeah, thanks. Oh wow, it's a dark farmer's market. Cute. What an FM. Nice. We checked out the farmer's market and the farmer's market, no offense, was a bit of a fail. I got a CBD coffee because I'm feeling a little feisty today. Hopefully it'll kick in. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of a zen moment. Babe, did you come up with a plan yet? In progress. Mike's coming up with a plan in progress because my plan was a fail, but I'm glad we checked out the farmer's market because it was on my list of things to check out. But in all fairness, we didn't get any food. None of it was really appealing. And I think we're gonna get hot chicken for lunch. So we don't wanna feel stuffed. Like we're always stuffed because we've just been eating, eating too much lately. But the weather's nice, the sun is out and I'm not complaining. I'm gonna drink my CBD coffee. Mike's coming up with a plan. We're gonna turn the day around. I see a Bloody Mary in my future. Wow, those look really good. Thank you. Well, we found ourselves a drink. Cheers. Cheers. I have blisters all over my feet. Good job, babe. From our walk to the lacking farmer's market, but that's okay. Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. And we have not had a single glass of wine since we've been here. Right, this is not a wine trip. It's not a wine trip. 
It's a lit trip. How was your hot chicken? It was really good. Your prince's? Prince's Prince's hot chicken, yeah. It was good. But you said that you can't say that it's better than Hattie B's. Well, we've been there. We were there a long time ago, and I feel like we were, like, at the original Hattie B's. Right, and that now was, it's like, like, in 2018, Now right? they're all, like, commercialized. It's like a fast food restaurant, but the chicken was really good. The chicken was good. I got a lobster roll without the roll, and it was actually pretty good. I don't really know what I'm craving. I actually, like, really want barbecue. You want to do... Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, well, it's so nice out. I'm so happy it's not raining. Amen. This place is really cute. What is it called? Uh, it's at the Assembly I think it's Food Hall. Sixty Vines. Sixty Vines. It's a wine bar, and we didn't get wine, which is kind of a sin. But <gasps> that Bloody Mary looks good. You can do How Bloody's next. I see next. Bloody Mary on the menu. I don't know. You don't typically read the menu. I though. don't. I don't typically read the menu. Where did we go? Where was that in Napa? Oh, we went to. Oh my God. That Italian place where we sit upstairs in that room that everyone like screams in. Sit, why do I? Mm. Anyway. A room that to, everybody screams in? Yeah, we're at, we always get put up in the second floor in that room that like reverberates all the noise. Oh, we're sitting next Scala. To that Scala. In Napa. I read rigatoni, but it wasn't a rigatoni pasta. Right. It was terrible. That was like the worst pasta dish I've ever had. I can't wait for Tim McGraw. I could cry just thinking about it right now. Me too. You're such a liar. I'm not lying. I can cry about it too. And for anyone interested, the NFL draft is on tonight. And being such a good husband, I'm going to see Tim McGraw instead of watching the Cheers draft. Cheers to you. Cheers to me. Cheers to you, hot husband. You're the best. I feel like there'll be video of me watching the draft on my phone at some point during the concert. That's fine. We respect that. It's fine. As long as you don't make fun of me when I sob. No, I won't. Right. You just told everyone the last time that we went that I sobbed. I gotta take this shirt off. All right, take it off. You want us to hear? I'm more in the shade. I mean, that would be ideal, but... Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get microphone feedback. Mm. All right, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye for now. Mama needs some sneakers because holy hell, my feet are crying. Everywhere. Please, God, give me a sneaker. I got some new kicks. My feet are thankful. Shock, there's no like announcement that he's gonna be here. Mike and I went to the um, venue and I asked them if I can bring my camera to the Tim McGraw concert, and sadly, I cannot. I cannot bring my camera, so I'm a little upset because I just feel like the video, the videography on this camera is bomb, and I would love to get a Tim McGraw concert on the vlog of such quality, but I'm still gonna video record it because I must, but I'm just gonna do it on my phone, so I apologize that the quality is not gonna be as great. I apologize to you, I apologize to myself. I think we're gonna go to the rooftop bar they actually have THC infused drinks, which I don't really feel like it's gonna do anything, but I am intrigued and I wanna try it. The reality is like, I'm just not a big drinker. I'm just not. And I had two drinks last night. I had two vodka drinks that were spread out between a lot of hours. And I woke up and I was a little hungover this morning, but I don't wanna get too drunk for the Tim McGraw concert because I wanna be present and I wanna just, you know, I just, I love it so much. It's actually really funny because my aunt Maria texted me this morning and was like, Forge, if you're in Nashville to see Tim, I hope you enjoy it. And I was like, how in God's name do you know that I'm in Nashville to see Tim McGraw? And she was like, I just had a feeling. Like, that's a little wild. I feel bad because the NFL draft is tonight, like Mike was saying, and obviously he would rather watch that. What a little sweetie. I love him so much. Thank God. Honestly, I always say thank God for Michael. Thank you, God. I'm gonna go get a high bird drink. I love that everything is bird related. I really want a bird tattoo. I really like dropped the ball with this because I was gonna plan to get a tattoo while we were here and then I didn't make an appointment because I just, I couldn't, I really wanted a Tim McGraw quote. I felt like that would be fitting, but then I just like couldn't find, I couldn't get the, the quote in my family member's handwriting in time and then it just became a whole thing. So I was like, maybe not. So do you like my sneakers? Yeah. Me too. Honestly, shockingly, they're so cute. <gasps> and they match my bag. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? Oh my God, nobody told me. Are you gonna get a high bird drink with THC infused oil? No. Oh, come on. No, no, no. It'll make you feel better. I don't feel bad. That's I know, right. you don't feel bad at all. Is that the tripod I got you? Yeah. Do you like it or no? 
I do. Do you like it? Look. I didn't like that it sat on the table for a week and a half before you filmed it. Well, I brought it for this yeah. occasion. I don't use this camera at home. We're back at the bougie rooftop. But you know what I am most excited to see on this trip? No, I mean, yes, okay. So I'm most excited to see Tim McGraw, but then second most excited to see Michael D'Angelo in a honky tonk bar. <laughs> and you know, I feel like you've done a really good job of holding us off of the honky tonks but it's gonna come and it's gonna be epic. What was that that you said? You, uh, you know, if given the choice between, what did you say? Wait, 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 what did you say? I'll come over here. Earlier you said, let's get a drink. And I said, where do you wanna go? You pick. And you said, no, you pick. And I said, I'm gonna pick a nicer place than you are. <laughs> Rude. So if you want to go a place, you should pick it. I'll go anywhere you want. Well, I love you so much, and I realize that you are being forced to go to Tim, and you're also missing the draft. That's fine. So we'll bouge it up for the time being. It's all good. It's fine. But your bouge, my friend, is coming to an end. I, that's fine. I'm fine. I survive. Ugh. You survive. I survive and I thrive. <laughs> we'll survive and thrive. But look at this place, though. It is kind of, it is really cute up here. On the other side. We're by the Broken. Well, I don't know. There was a sign on it last night. It said out of order. So this is where we were last night. Yeah, but we were on the other side. Yeah, and then... Here's the view of the rooftop, the AT&T building. The light has gotten to replay. All right, this is t-shirt number one. Are we looking at t-shirt number one? Yeah. Let me show everybody else because I'm sure they want to see the Tim McGraw t-shirt. Okay, option number one. Here is option number two. Number two, oh, you made a face. Wait, let me show everyone else before you give your your opinions and put them on other people. This is okay, what do you think? <gasps> okay, anywho. So out of those two, which one do you like better? Oh, it's only those two. I have another one. I have the one that I wore yesterday. This is the one that I wear the most, honestly. My Jesus Tim. I think I like He looks pervy in the first one? Yeah. No, we're not here for that kind of content. He kind of looks like he has that weird goatee going. And Goatees are out? Like Wait, looks, what about with the hat though? Should I wear my hat? Let's see the third option. Is this like more Tim? No, is this enough Tim? Yeah, it's the most. It's the most. <laughs> okay. All right, last but not least. You're cutting half of, the, half of him off. Uh, half of him is in your pants. Just where we want him. All right. <laughs> Uh, wait, so you like this one the best, but out, no, not I, tucked in. I don't like <laughs> you don't like any of them. I the first one. Oh, I come on, my guy. Okay, wait, you're telling me to wear the pervy t shirt? No, no, the second one, the one with the arms out. Okay, so this one. Tim is right. Yeah. This one? That okay. Reminds me of Okay, fine, then that it is. This is the last option. I wore this one yesterday on the plane to represent. No one else on the plane was wearing a Tim McGraw t-shirt though, might I add. That's rude. What is your thought on the debate? I like to tuck my t-shirts in and you always say that you don't like it, but I feel like I look more put together when I'm tucked in. Like this just feels like, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying though? I think I'm gonna tuck it in and I'm gonna wear my Western belt. Just tuck it in and see what it looks like and then we can take a vote. Okay, okay, fine. So the people can have a choice. I guess. Give the people what they want, a choice. True, we like a choice. What's all over you? Deodorant? Cologne. Cologne? Yeah. Cologne makes that color, like a white cast? I have cologne secrets. Oh, of course you do. Okay, this is it tucked. 
that's good if you're going to the dinner buffet at Cracker Barrel with that Tim McGraw shirt on. That's, that's the vibe. I mean, but what is it when it's out? What kind of vibe is that? Like, I'm in my 20s. I'm going to have a good time in Nashville. Okay, so I look younger on tucked. I don't know, what like about, that. like, less tucked? You should do whatever makes you feel happy. Okay, all right, okay. Okay? Um, I don't know. I think I like a tuck. I like a tuck and a belt. Can we put the belt on and then see? Um, I think my situation, I'm just uncomfortable at all times. I don't know. I just feel like the big baggy jeans are too much. And then the denim he's skirt was like. His, he's holding out his hands for how wide those pant legs were. Very wide. <laughs> but what do you think? I don't feel, I feel actually disgusting. Why do I get my period on every trip that we go on? Every time. And she's an angry bird. Maybe my sneakers will make me feel better. I'm not feeling myself at all. Are you gonna come with me to the drugstore? Yeah. Okay. You know where the drugstore is? No, I'm gonna Google it. from screaming Tim McGraw songs for two hours. Um, that concert was unbelievable. I'm just gonna out myself because it's just the reality of me. But like at the end of it, the last song, I mean, I cried a good like six times throughout the concert, but they were like a little tears. Oh. When he closed with Live Like You Were Dying, I bawled like baby. I bawled because I love that song and it made me think of my dad and also because the concert was over. Like, that's how amazing it was. She loved it. Oh my god, it was so good. It was so good. People are probably like, what's the matter with her? <laughs> Honestly, if you've never seen Tim McGraw in concert, it's like a spiritual thing for me. I can't, I really can't explain it. I don't know. I just, I really love me some Tim McGraw. After that, we went to Stagecoach. No, Stage House. I don't know. We've been there before. We went there the last time that we were here. <laughs> on the fiddle was insane. <laughs> a good time but it's funny because like I don't love live music at home but like I love live music in Nashville riddle me that how does that make any sense I have no idea what we're doing today but it's supposed to rain and the weather is supposed to be a bit icky my throat hurts my heels hurt from walking around in heels all yesterday morning I have a cup of coffee here that I got from the Nespresso machine down the hall that's the one thing they have coffee a coffee machine and they have a refillable water station which is so nice but it's like down the hall so like every morning when I look like this I mean granted you all see me when I look like this all the time but that's different we're friends I look like this in the morning and then I have to go and like say hello to people and it's the south and everybody calls you ma'am and like I know that they mean it to be polite but I just got my period yesterday I'm not feeling myself I don't want to be called ma'am before I get a cup of coffee in the morning. Just my, just my, just my personal thought. I don't know. I also bought the collagen peptides. They come in little like travel pouches. I don't know if you guys have seen that TikTok. There's like a TikTok going around where, well it's not a TikTok, like many different people have done TikToks of it. But like people claim that they go from looking like, I don't know, let's say like 50 to then looking like 20 
from taking collagen peptides consistently. I don't know. I've been taking them for a pretty long time. I don't think that the difference is that noticeable. The number one reason why I like doing the collagen peptides, obviously it's good for your hair, your skin, and your nails, but it has protein in it. So first thing in the morning, I'm getting protein. Normally, before I change my diet, I lacked a lot of protein in my diet, but I find that like making my protein goal for the day is so much easier when I have 18 grams of protein in my coffee first thing in the morning, you know? So I got the travel packets. I don't think it erases 20 years from your appearance though, but I really think that the new face for me makes the biggest difference. Like, I don't know if I have mentioned this to you guys, but I was really like looking at pictures or like not pictures. I was looking at videos, videos, I said that very weird, of myself when I was editing. It just looked like saggier and like older and it was bothering me and I was like, oh, maybe I should go get Botox. But honestly, I hadn't done the new face in a month and then I did it and I've been doing it consistently. I've been doing it like three times a week and my skin is so much better. The lift in my face is so much better. I would say the new face and drinking plenty of water, which I drank plenty of water yesterday, thank God, because I feel like I would be really hungover today. Water is the answer to everything. And guys, I also have my period. Riddle me this. Every time I go away, I was literally saying to Mike last night at the concert that we can never just have, you know, I'm, listen, let me just say this first. I'm very grateful for my life and I understand like the privilege that it is that I was just in Napa and now I'm in Nashville. Like I'm very thankful. I'm thankful and thank honestly thank God the most. But I just feel like there can never not like nothing can go smoothly. Like last night we were at the concert and this couple next to us were wasted and like fighting. Like FUs, like this, that, the other thing. It was like insane. Honestly we should ask Mike to get a recap because I was sitting next to them and then I went to the bathroom and then Mike took my seat because I think he wanted me to like really enjoy the Tim McGraw concert. But it was just like such a thing. And then the guy like fell on top of Mike. It was a whole thing. And then, I don't know. It's just like, I don't understand why we just can't go and enjoy. Like why do people have to be so people-y? The woman literally went to the bathroom like 25 times. Like when I say she broke the seal, like she ripped the seal right off. So it was like every time she just had to walk past us, walk past us. I don't even know what my sneakers look like right now. My brand new sneakers that I bought yesterday, which, oh my God, I love them so much. Um, but I'm scared to look at them, but I should probably clean them. I'm going to drink this. I'm going to work out. And then I need to figure out what we're doing because I need an itinerary for the day. last day yes, it is. and we need to rally yeah. because we've been struggling we're faced with some challenges yeah a lot of challenges um so hopefully barbecue's good hopefully the barbecue's good we're gonna go get barbecue now i'm in a dress that's not super short so i feel better about that today i have my doll in hand but i am overheating i don't know about you yeah, it's warm out i definitely dressed. i definitely brought the wrong clothes for this trip just like i brought the wrong clothes to napa as well yeah and my dresses have been like short i just think i'm overheating in general mm. it's hard to regulate my temperature but anyway we're gonna go get barbecue where are we going central barbecue we're going to central barbecue heard good things well so we'll find out why why don't you like when i sing to you we're in music city yeah but music city should be left to the musicians well i mean okay that's a little rude. Oh, that breeze feels so nice. Oh my God. This is my outfit. You can't really see it. I'll show it to you. This is the same dress I wore in Napa. She's nice. She's airy and she covers me. I've just felt like a sausage this entire trip. So what are you gonna do? But we always have a good song. Tennessee whiskey. I'm really trying this time, unlike all the other times. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. No? Rude. All right, we got half a rack of ribs, beans, sweet tea. What are you gonna are say? You trying to pretend right now? I'm excited for the beans. After you threw a fit about the beans. I did, sorry. 
And then what was this? The pitmaster combo. What yeah, do we got? No Sausage. Pulled no pulled chicken. But it looks good. The ribs smell really good. for some dinner. This place looks hopping. Thank you. I love Tim.